Hey folks, welcome back to another Battling Brushes with myself, Sam Healy, and Rob Oren. Uh, we are currently going through two Guild Ball teams. I am painting a Denver Broncos themed Butcher's Guild team, and Rob is painting a Pittsburgh Steelers Fisherman's Guild. This week I'm going to be tackling Shank from the Butcher's Guild and Rob is going to be tackling Grayscales from the Fisherman's Guild. And so without further ado, let's go ahead and get down to the table and see what we're doing. All right, so here we are continuing our Butcher's Guild team. Of course, the uh, good old Denver Broncos colors are uh, showing prevalent. This week, we're going to go ahead and take care of Shank, a pleasant name for an individual. And uh, we're going to, um, we've already got him started with uh, the base colors, leggings of blue and the shirt and uh, uh, apron down here of orange to capture those Denver Bronco colors. But uh, now we're going to uh, focus on all of the other details and uh, we're going to use a lot of uh, browns and silvers to uh, finish this guy off because his boots are going to be brown, uh, his breastplate here, his shoulder pauldron, all brown. There's going to be a little bit of black on his hair here and then silver uh, on all of these chains that he has all, uh, going around everywhere. So uh, their boots are going to be brown as well, leather brown and so it's, it's going to come together, I think, pretty well. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so first up, we're going to go ahead and uh, get the leather brown stuff out of the way. Boots, breastplates, uh, this little um, cuirass that goes around the back, I believe, and in the soldier pauldron right up here at the top as well. Um, we're going to use that for the leather brown for all of that. We're going to be using oak brown for the hilts of his weapons and all that good stuff. So... Uh, we'll be doing that a little bit later, but let's go ahead and get Lever Brown done first. Okay, so now that we got all of that leather brown on there the way we want to, had to do a couple of different coats because uh, the white really likes to show through. So uh, we just, you know, you just take your time and uh, go through and do as much as you can with as few coats. Remember to keep your uh, coats thin. That's very important too, so that detail still sticks around. What we're going to do now is uh, we're going to go through and uh, give some uh, Cadian flesh tone to uh, all of the skin. He doesn't have a whole lot of skin showing. He's got some on his hands right here and then his face. But other than that, he is uh, fully covered in clothing and weaponry and all this other kind of stuff. So uh, we're gonna get the uh, Katie and Flesh Tone done next. And so while we were away, we went ahead and uh, got the black hair done uh, with the black. We went ahead and made uh, the handles of his weapons, the oak brown. Uh, even this one over here. Oh, and I just say, saw that I forgot one right here. So I need to go back and do that. Um, but uh, now what we're going to do is uh, get all of the blades and the metal-y chains and all that kind of stuff in a Rune Fang steel. Now I'm going to go with a lighter color 
Rune Fang steel instead of the lead belcher that we were using on the other ones because I'm going to go back and hit it with a Noom oil, which will darken it up considerably. And so I want that lighter color to be there uh, so that the, um, the dark Noom oil doesn't really mess with it too much. So uh, let's go ahead and get that done. So unfortunately, the Rune Fang steel is not uh, working out too well. As you can see there, it's just a little bit too light. You can barely even tell that it's there. So we need the darker undercoat to cover up that white. So we're going to go ahead and hit it with lead belcher as we did on the others. And that should fix the problem. much the way we want it we're gonna leave that little uh, uh, apron right there the uh, as white just to bring in again the more of the uh, Broncos theme and now we're just gonna start hitting it with a bunch of different shades Reichling flesh shade for his flesh um, Newell oil for the chains and the, and the uh, uh, different weapons that he has um, probably just a soft tone from army painter for the leather that is around him and his boots and that type of thing and after that we'll pretty much be done with him he's uh his face doesn't have a whole lot of definition to it and that's the one thing that i really don't like about this model uh, very much is that the uh face just does not have a whole lot of definition to it so i'm pretty sure the reichland flesh shade is probably not going to do that much good to it but we'll see what we can do but anyway let's go ahead and get those shades on there And so that's pretty much it. Um, I went ahead and used a uh, soft tone for pretty much all of the model. And uh, I like the little, almost like a rusted effect that uh, it had on the metal. So I'm just gonna leave it that way. Uh, you know, with a name like Shank, uh, you're probably not using um, a bunch of sanitized utensils anyway. You're probably just uh, wanting to cause a bit of trouble. So uh, that's pretty much it for Shank. Uh, we'll go see what Rob's doing. All right, here we go with another guy. Uh, boy, I'll tell you, this is really, really tough and very, very painful, especially being a Seahawk fan. Sam, here we go. Let's go down and take a look at the next guy. I started working on for Guild Ball. All right, so here we are again. We got a different guy this time. And we're trying to do these Pittsburgh Steeler colors, which first of all sickened me to begin with, being a Seahawk fan. But the thing is, you want to put different colors on this guy, but you don't want to take away from the theme. So you're kind of caught in a very, very tough spot here. So we put, I ran some gold on there, and as you can see, I put some Morphing Brown on for his boots. A little goal where where the point of the, as you can see, I'm straightening out the actual arrow itself. So we're really trying to figure out what to do with this guy. So right here, we're going to go with Steel Legion Drab 
for the actual spear. I, again, I don't want to take away from the black and the gold. I really want that to kind of stand out a bit. So I'm really working here, as you can see, and I just put that on there and I'm trying to be real smart with my colors and stuff like that. We go to a Kesla flesh and um, now we're just going to get the flesh in there. We're going to see where it all comes out. And as you can see right there, after painting the hands and the face, we're kind of starting to see where we need to come and where we're going with this. And everything's starting to come together a little bit. So we're now thinking of what we're going to do next here. Uh, what I plan on doing is taking some of that Everland Sun and just painting it in some of those areas there. As you can see, I covered around his neck. He's got a scarf on his neck and just kind of did that real quick. Um, you know, you've already seen a lot of this, so I, I, I'm really not trying to draw this out. But again, just trying to mesh those blacks and those golds together and try to make them stand out. Next thing I'm taking is some Agrath Earthshade, and that's really going to help out here. We're going to darken everything up and really get everything to where we really want to get it. And, uh, you know, get his face structure in there. And as you can see, after the Ag Agrath Earthshade, I took a little gray, Dawnstone gray, and just dry brushed over everything. And did his hair and his beard, and as you can see, uh, just took also a little lead belcher and just touched up some of those areas there and put them on his base and I'm pretty happy with what we got here it's a really tough thing to do uh, pretty much that's about it so let's send it up top and pretty much get on out of here well there you have it that's the best I could do with that that guy um, without taking away the colors it's very difficult when you have multi layers of clothing and you got to be very careful because if you change a color or add too many colors you get away from that Pittsburgh Steelers theme that we are intended for this uh, particular gentleman so you had to be very careful not to lose that so it's oh, it's very very difficult I, I can say it that, and I, I wonder if you go through the same thing, Sam. But without further ado, Sam, do me a favor. Get us out of here, brother. So that is this week's episode of Battling Brushes. Uh, I think Rob is doing a great job. Black is an entirely hard um, color to work with. It's, a, it's just a very, just like sucks up all of the details, and you have to do something to it. And if you're not careful, it stops looking like black after a while. So he's doing a great job on his models. I hope you're enjoying uh, the take that I'm doing for the Denver Broncos. As always, we thank you so much for watching. And we hope you've enjoyed the video. Giving you some new ideas maybe, some fresh inspiration. Who knows? Let us know in the comments what you think. And um, Rob and I will uh, talk to you there possibly. So thanks again for watching. We'll see you guys on the flip side. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer and you've been watching the Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff Inc. where you can find great games for great prices. Cool stuff in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com.